Hi you guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I just woke up, obviously, hence like this super, super puffy face. I don't even know what time it is, what time is it? It is 7.45 right now. I actually got up on time today, which is very surprising. I'm never someone who gets up on time. I always turn off my alarms in my sleep and end up sleeping in until like nine or 9.30 and then I wake up really late. So today is a super busy day. I have so much to get done. It's another really like rainy, gloomy day outside. It's been this way for like honestly the last two weeks. It's really hard to shoot content and do my job when it's rainy. So it's been proving a bit of a challenge um, and a lot of what I have to do today is like shooting content. So I need to take Instagram pictures, I need to reshoot something for an Instagram campaign for a brand I'm working with. I also need to film a try-on clip for a vlog. I need to just honestly do lots of things. Um, my brain is not functioning yet, I'm not awake. I don't have a workout with my trainer today, so I think I'm gonna take, I need to take Kai on a walk. I'm gonna take Harper to doggy daycare because it's supposed to be really rainy, like I said. She loves to go run outside, to go to the bathroom whenever it's rainy and she will like roll in mud. So she always gets like absolutely covered and so every time she goes out to go to the bathroom, I literally have to give her a bath when she comes back in. So it's just much easier for her to go to doggy daycare whenever it is rainy outside. These are slipping off of my face. These are the ones that I use. I get them off of Amazon. I will link them below. Um, I really, really like them, but I typically wear them like every single morning to just depuff my eyes, kind of waken me up and all that good stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and take baby doggy to daycare. Okay, Harper, you wanna go daycare? Let's go. All right, you guys, while I'm driving, I'm actually gonna put on a podcast and I'm gonna be listening to Janine Amapola's Healthy and Happy podcast. Um, I really like hers, and I know you guys were asking for like podcast recommendations, so I really like hers. I really like Meredith Foster's Unfiltered Faith podcast, and then what's the other one I really like? Oh, um, the Heart and the Hustle podcast by, Evie Rupp and then Lindsay Roman. My friend Shaughnessy Schroeder actually introduced me to that one, but those are really good. I really like the Heart and the Hustle podcast. Really intertwined being like a creative entrepreneur and they talk a lot about like the business side of it, like the behind the scenes, like the mental health side of it while also intertwining it with faith, which I really, really like. So those are definitely like the top three podcasts that I have been loving and listening to lately. But today I'm just gonna listen to Janine Amapola's because I haven't caught up on hers in a while. Um, yeah, my drive to doggy daycare is honestly like 40 minutes, so it's pretty far out. Like, it's like in the, in the middle of nowhere, like it's in the country country. So it's definitely a pretty far drive, but honestly, like it's the perfect amount of time to listen to a podcast episode because I can like listen to the entire thing during my morning drive. For breakfast, I'm gonna make my berry smoothie that you guys know I love and make all the time. This berry smoothie mix. And then Ritual actually just came out with vegan protein powder. So I'm very excited to try this. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. I need my spinach. If you guys are new here and you haven't heard me talk about these smoothie packs a thousand and one times, um, I get them at Costco. They're really great. They have like berries, little chunks of spinach in there. And then I personally just like to add in a bunch more spinach to it just to get in some extra greens. Okay, okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just plan out my day. These are the planners that I use. It's by the brand Push Journal. I just found them on Instagram and they have like a whole week at a glance and then they also have like your daily trackers, which I really like. Um, so it has like your top three tasks and then I really like that it has like a whole time blocking schedule and then it has notes and then it has a whole like health tracker as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like look over my emails and everything and then look over what I need to do this week and then what I need to get done today and fill out my whole little time block schedule. I just finished planning my day. This is just kind of a brief overview of everything that I need to get done. I swear time blocking is a absolute game changer and it saves my life, especially with me. Like I feel like my mind is always like a thousand one places. So this is seriously so helpful. So I just finished drinking my smoothie. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready and we're gonna take Kai on a walk. Hi. All right guys, right now we are just on our little walk. Harper is at doggy daycare so 
me and this guy are just spending some quality one-on-one -on -one time. He has so much energy, especially before it rains and it's supposed to rain today. So you're getting out some extra energy. I brought the chuck it so that we can play some fetch as well. And then we're also gonna go on like a two to three mile walk. So that's wonderful, Kai. Thank you for sharing that with everyone. Are you having fun, bubs? All right, you guys, I am finishing up doing a little bit of makeup. I'm shooting this little lounge set that I have, and I'll show you guys the full outfit here in a second. Um, so it is more of like a kind of cozy look. So I just kept my hair in my low bun and threw on some cute little like earrings and my cuffs. I'm trying to think where I'm gonna shoot this. I'm gonna try to do it in my garage. I'm trying to think what I can do because it's super rainy outside, so like I can't go shoot outside like I normally would. It's one thing whenever it's raining for like maybe like one or two days and you know you have the rest of the week to shoot something, but when it's raining for like two and a half weeks straight, it is impossible to get anything done. So it's just one of those things. All right, you guys, so this is the little setup. I just have my tripod and then I actually just put my phone on and video and then I just pose, take a video and then screenshot it from there. So hopefully I can get a few good shots. The sun is out right now, so I'm hoping we can just get one real quick. Okay, I think I got the picture. I'm hoping that I did. I haven't totally looked through all of them yet because I have a strategy call with my manager in exactly four minutes. So... I'll look through those in a little bit. I'm hoping that they approve them because it's really hard to get one like standing up inside anywhere unless it's like a mirror picture. I feel like that like makes the clothes look flattering. So we shall see. I think the picture that I'm going to use is this one. I will pop it up somewhere on the screen for you guys. Honestly, you guys, I'm so thankful that I work from home and that I don't actually have to go into like an office because I live in loungewear and like comfy clothes. Like I'm just wearing like shorts and a comfy sweatshirt. And like, I don't know how people actually work in like full business clothes all the time. Like I used to do it when I had a nine to five, but like, I don't think I could go back to it now. I'm just like, I live the cozy life. You know what I mean? Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, okay, so I just wanted to hop on, obviously, to talk a little bit about strategy and then- All right, you guys, just finished my call with my manager. It was really good. And now I need to, what do I need to do next? I need to look at my calendar. I need to film a haul for a brand really quickly. It's really bad lighting, you guys. Like, I don't know what to do with this light, but it's not gonna change for the next, like, week. So I'm kind of stuck with it. Um, What else? I have this whole- calendar right here it's a dry erase board and i actually got it at target and it was maybe like 30 or 40 bucks and oh my gosh you guys i love it because you can just write everything on there and move things around which is super helpful for me because i have a tendency to like write things down that i want to do and make a whole schedule for an entire month and then like i never do it in that order so i love that i can rearrange things so i have like my day planner to where i plan out and time block my day and then i also have my whole month planner that's a dry erase so i'm not writing in pen anyways little tip there for you guys if you guys are like me and can never actually stick to a plan <laughs> that you make for yourselves it never happens um so right now it is 2 p.m I need to eat. I never finished my smoothie this morning because I got sidetracked, so I'm really hungry. I need to eat. I need to sign some contracts. Let's eat first. I'm hungry. Let's make some food. Oh my gosh, that, I don't know why that was so hard to get up. Since I've been working out with Delta Trainer, my muscles have been so freaking sore. She gives me such a good workout and I love it. All right, you guys, just made my lunch and I want to do a test to see how well you guys know me. So before I show you what I made for lunch, comment down below your guess, okay? Ready? Am I not literally the most predictable person ever for what I'm gonna eat? I eat the exact same things over and over again until I get tired of them and then I just repeat the cycle with another food. Anyways, but I'm just having a huge salad. I know it doesn't look that big, but it actually really is. And then I also have some of these cherries that I got at the farmer's market. I freaking love cherries. They're really good for you as well. So I'm gonna snack on those, eat my salad, and then I need to do some computer work. So I'll check in with you guys after I eat. All right, you guys, just finished filming my haul. So I'm just sitting down to start editing it. I actually have to send it over to my manager today. So I need to hurry up and do that. Basically, it's just a bunch of like spring stuff that I got from Forever 21, like a lot of shorts, everything like that. A few few bikinis and I was watching the bikini clips and I was like oh my gosh like I have to refilm these like you can see like my stretch marks or like my shoulder is breaking out or like whatever and then it just hit me like literally why do we care about that like social media and people on social media a they edit the crap out of their pictures and b there's this like underlying unspoken thing that's like on social media as like a content creator influencer like 
if you want to be like successful or if you want people to like you or to want to follow you stuff like that like you have to be perfect like zero acne unless it's like a cute little pimple on your face like you can't have like gross stretch marks if it's from like having a big butt like that's fine but if it's like on your thighs like whatever like i feel like with everyone that i come across it's like it's normalized to have like these specific flaws to your body but then like other flaws aren't normalized i don't know like that could just be me like i said but anyways i realized i'm like i literally don't care at this point i have so many other more important things to think about whether you guys are gonna be able to like see a stretch mark or not so i like honestly just don't really care at this point um but that just made me think about that like if you're someone who worries about like your body or if you worry about stretch marks or if you worry about like if you have body acne or if you have face acne or if you have like I don't know literally whatever like don't even waste your time it's such a freaking waste of time everybody has flaws literally everybody has flaws and don't feel like you have to like hide yours or cover them up or pretend to like have everything perfect and together like other people that you might see on social media which like we know they're editing the crap out of their pictures or that they're like removing acne stuff like that i don't know just like a random little rant but just don't like waste your time thinking about that stuff and if someone has an issue with it then like that sounds like a personal problem you know i don't know maybe that's just me anyways rant over thank you for coming to my ted talk i'm going to finish editing this video i'll probably be here for a little while it's already 4 30 i have to pick up harper or i have to go to pick up harper at 5 40 so i will probably be here until i leave to go get baby doggy All right, you guys, it is, what time is it? It is 8.30, I am freaking exhausted. It has been a very busy day. This is my first week. I talked about it a little bit in my last vlog, but it's my first week without Megan, my assistant here. This is like my first week without her. And let me just tell you guys, like she was the biggest help and low key, I'm like freaking out of, like I hired her because I was at the point where I was like so overwhelmed and I felt like I was letting other people down and I just felt like I just had, I couldn't do it all myself and I needed help. And so that's why I hired her. I just feel like I'm like still getting like super busy. I have like more content that I want to push. I want to get more like content out and be more consistent and like post more and I'm taking on like more brand partnerships and trying to meet, you know, like goals and growth and all of this stuff, which is so great. But it like makes you really appreciate like the help you have it's just tuesday and doing this week so far without her without her help honestly just makes me so thankful for everything that she did for me i mean like she would take harper to doggy daycare she would literally make my meals for me like right now it is dinner time and i have no food ready and i'm like i miss megan because she would make like the best freaking like dinners and lunches for me because she's vegan too so she like knows and she's like an amazing cook so she would do that for me what else she would edit my videos she would like link all the stuff that i put like completely make my description having her definitely helped me have like a better like a lot better like work-life balance so i started work really early this morning and i'm still working and i still have a lot of work to do um i definitely didn't have time to get done like several things today like i need to send out poshmark orders i need to run errands my tags are about to expire i literally have two days before my tags are expired and i have not even started that process yet um i just have like so many things to get done it's a little overwhelming i'm not gonna lie but anywho i haven't had any water today either that's what i need to do i'm gonna get myself a big glass of water and try to drink two of these we'll see how that goes i'll get some nice lemon water do a little tlc but i'm gonna drink this and then i will show you guys in a little bit what i make for dinner for lunch i am just keeping it pretty simple this is one of my favorite like easy recipes to make so it just has some bell peppers it has some black beans some corn i put a little bit of onion in there and then i just threw this whole bag in there they're actually really good and have a great protein in them and then i just have some white rice cooking in here this is definitely such a good little like fast and easy meal that lasts forever because obviously it's like a huge portion so i have a ton left over for the rest of the week so definitely love making this you can also throw some like taco seasonings on there some cumin all that good stuff and it is delicious okay guys just finished dinner i am seriously so exhausted what time is it it is 10 06 right now also look at this picture of kai if you guys don't follow them on instagram 
you need to because look at that face um anyways it is like 10 06 right now i'm really tired and i need to go to bed but i need to clean up first that's something i've been trying to be really good at is cleaning up the mess that i made the same day that i made it because i'm so bad about like leaving messes until like a few days later and then stuff just piles up and then i just get really stressed out and clutter really bothers me um especially when i'm trying to like film and i need room to like move around or like put my filming lights and stuff like that so so before i start getting ready for bed we are going to pick up my office mainly this whole pile you guys can't see it but this whole pile of clothes that i just threw on the floor that is what i'm going to do right now office is pretty much clean for the most part still need to kind of like get a few things in order but but that is pretty much it for my work day i'm gonna go ahead and kind of get into my nighttime routine which i think i'll probably do a nighttime routine video for you guys pretty soon just like doing a more full detail of like what i actually do um so if you guys want to see that comment down below that you want to see a night routine or if you want to see a morning routine i don't know if you guys have like specific videos you guys want me to make just comment them down below i literally always get most of my video ideas from what people request. So make sure to request if you wanna see something specific. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this kind of gave you a nice little like insight into what my work day looks like. If you guys stay until the end of the video, comment down below what you guys do for work so I know who watched until the end and I can also get to know you guys a little bit better. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys.